So in this video, we're going to be going through finding the determinant of this matrix here and factorising it as we go. So first thing to notice is that the left-hand column is all ones, okay? So if I can get 1, 0, 0, that would be very useful to me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to subtract row 1 away from row 2 and row 3. So the top row will remain as it is. The middle row uh, will have 1 take away 1, so 0. y squared take away x squared and y cubed take away x cubed. Okay, the bottom row, 1 take away 1 is 0, z squared take away x squared, and z cubed take away x cubed. Okay, so this is my matrix as it stands now. Right, so the next thing to do is recognise that y take away x, sorry, y squared take away x squared is the difference of two squares. So that can be factorised. So I know that I can write this, this stage, as y take away x, y plus x. And this is, of course, z take away x, z plus x as well. OK? Now, uh, what I'd like to be able to do is to write each of these in a factorised form as well. Now, noticing that y take away x is a factor of y squared take away x squared, um, I'd also be assuming that y take away x is a factor of y cubed take away x cubed, but I don't know what the other bracket needs to be, so I've got to use some polynomial division to get there. So y take away x, okay, and we need y cubed take away x cubed. So let's put the y cubed in first. So this will be y squared, and this will be minus xy squared. Now I don't need any xy squared, so I need to add an xy squared to cancel out. So y's into that go xy, xy times minus x is minus x squared y. Now there are no x squared y's, so I need to get rid of that one as well. So y's into that go x squared, and x squared times minus x makes the minus x cubed. So in here you've got the y cubed take away x cubed, and so this is the other bracket. So we'll have x cubed at the top, and then we're going to have y minus x times by y squared plus xy plus x squared. So it's a very similar thing here, it's just the y's have been replaced with z's. So I'll have uh, the z take away x, z squared plus, e uh, sorry, e yeah, xz uh, plus x squared. Okay, so that's where we're at. Right, I'm just going to get rid of this here, just to give myself some space. Right, so now I can factor the y take away x and the z take away x out of those two rows. So I'm now reduced to y take away x, uh, z take away x, and then I've got 1, 0, 0, x squared, y plus x, z plus x, and uh, x cubed y squared plus xy plus x squared, and z squared plus xz plus x squared. Right, OK. So next thing um, that would be quite useful, I think, um, would probably be to get rid of these plus x, the plus x's that I see here. Um, I've got some extra terms, because I've got these common terms of the plus x in both those two rows and the x squareds there. If I do uh, row 3 and subtract row 2, so let's just see how this simplifies. OK, so I've got the 1, 0, 0 still. Then I'm going to have the x squared, y plus x. Then I've got z plus x take away y plus x. So I'll have z take away y. Then I've got the x cubed and the y squared plus xy plus x squared. Then I've got z squared plus xz plus x squared. So I'll still have the z squared and the xz. 
uh, the x squared is going to cancel, and I'll have take away y squared and xy. Now, um, it'd be useful now. I know that y plus x isn't a factor of this, so I can't factor out y plus x here. But z take away y could be a factor of this. So a little bit more polynomial division. So z take away y. And I need a z squared, so that would have to be z, and that would have to be minus yz. Now, I don't have any yz, so I'm going to have to cancel that. So that would have to be y, and then I'll get the minus y squared, which I need. But I also need an xz. So I'll pop that in there. That means that would have to be x. x times minus y is minus xy, which is another term that I need as well. So all the terms I've got are there, and so it factorises to z take away y, x plus y plus z. Okay? So, let's remember that. Let's use that. So we've got uh, the y take away x, z take away x, then we've got 1, 0, 0, x squared, y plus x, z take away y, then x cubed, y squared plus x, y plus x squared, and now I know that this factorises the z take away y, x plus y plus z. So now I can factor z take away y out. So I've got y take away x, z take away x, z take away y, times the determinant of 1, 0, 0, x squared, y plus x, 1, x cubed, y squared plus x, y plus x squared, and x plus y plus z, like that. OK? Now... Can we go any further with um, simplifying this determinant down? Unfortunately, there's not anything I can do with subtracting rows or indeed columns uh, to make this any easier for myself. So at some point, you may run into this stumbling block. And that usually means I can't go any further, and so I'm going to have to now find the determinant of this matrix which actually isn't too bad. So we've got the y minus x up front, and the z take away x, and the z take away y. Right, then I'm going to have 1 times the determinant of this matrix, and that's it, because the rest are going to be 0. So I'm going to have y plus x times by x plus y plus z. So I'm going to have to expand that. Take away one lot of the y squared plus xy plus x squared, like that. OK. So what have I got? I've got uh, xy uh, plus y squared plus yz plus x squared plus xy plus xz. Then I've got take away y squared, take away xy, take away x squared. OK, so I've got the x squareds are, can are going to cancel, the y squareds are going to cancel, and an xy is going to cancel. So I'm going to be left with just the xy, uh, the xz, and the yz. And that's it. That's as far as you can go. OK, so with this example, it's really about going as far as you can, and then you've got to take the plunge and then uh, expand out what you end up with.